at it again and a lot of things going on right now and one of those things is some people are getting exposed like share comment hit that subscribe button if you are new if you would like to help this video spread to more folks watch this video to the very end too that helps out tremendously with the youtube algorithm i would greatly appreciate it and you're probably not gonna want to miss this anyway let's dive in Hollywood elites are completely freaking out right now about what Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg could have in the works as they are currently. And I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it. Wahlberg could have in the works as they are currently working on a new project together, a very secret project that people have very little info on. Now, there's a lot that's offer. You know, this made a lot more sense for us. Hollywood is trembling with anticipation and fear. The dynamic duo Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson are teaming up for another film, and Tinseltown is on high alert because they don't know what bombshells to expect. Oh, but that's not even the juiciest part. Mark is dropping tantalizing hints that more big shot celebs are about to spill the beans. And I mean spill all the beans. Oh. <laughs> Spill the bean. I, w I wonder how many politicians are going to actually be on the list of people that are going to get exposed, right? Because I can almost guarantee, I can think of at least one, if you're thinking about who I'm thinking about. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But yeah, man, this, 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 this stuff is interesting and um, kind of scary at the same time to know that there are some folks who are walking amongst us that do such terrible things and then smile in our faces as if nothing ever happened and get on television and talk all, you know, nice and kind about anything and everyone, but behind closed doors, in their little groups, they do some of the most wretched things. Kind of creepy. Not even kind of creepy. That's very creepy. Anyway, shout out to uh, Just in YouTube channel for this clip. That's where this clip is coming from. Just in YouTube channel, all right? Shout out to them. Secrets that have been locked away in the glittering vaults of Hollywood's elite are about to be laid bare, and the stars are shaking in their expensive boots. <laughs> so what exactly is going on? First step in eradicating this crime is awareness. In a shocking turn of events, the notorious actor Mark Wahlberg has announced his collaboration with Hollywood icon Mel Gibson for an upcoming blockbuster project, and if that wasn't enough to send the Hollywood elites into a frenzy, the duo's recent meeting with none other than former President Donald Trump has set the gossip mill ablaze. With Gibson returning to the director's chair for the first time since Hacksaw Ridge, fans and insiders alike are buzzing with excitement over the enigmatic project entitled Flight Risk. Lionsgate is set to present the film at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival and Davis Entertainment will be producing alongside Gibson and Bruce Davey through their Icon Productions. Wahlberg has taken on the lead role of a pilot transporting a dangerous criminal for trial. The chair of Lionsgate Motion Picture Group, Joe Drake, couldn't contain his enthusiasm for the electrifying pairing of Gibson and Wahlberg, teasing that Flight Risk will be one of the most suspense-filled must-see events of the year. We love the undeniable electric pairing of Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg, Joe Drake said in a statement. These world-class talents combining for this dynamic character-driven film will make Flight Risk one of the most suspense-filled, must-see events of the year. Meanwhile, the Hollywood elites are scrambling to control the narrative surrounding this upcoming blockbuster. Accusations are flying left and right, with minions and media outlets allegedly being deployed to attack Gibson and Wahlberg over their involvement in the project. It's no secret that Mel Gibson has been a vocal critic of Hollywood's shady past, and his passion for exposing the industry's darker side is well documented. Join you know, and that's that's the thing that they always try to do with folks who are exposing or going against the narrative. They try to label them as crazy or an extremist or, you know, something to get the masses to not listen to them. I dropped the YouTube short. Oh, man, I don't even remember when I dropped it, but I want to say it was Nancy Pelosi, maybe she said it once and then there was somebody else. Uh, there was like a re really, really old clip of someone perfectly describing 
what they do these days. They, they label you something bad and they just continually say it over and over again until it sticks in people's minds, right? And that's what they try to do so you are discredited because they know that you're exposing them. They don't want people to believe you, of course. So they just label you something bad and just keep saying it. Um, and it's just interesting to hear other people talking about that same tactic, right? Because people, more people are noticing and realizing what they're doing because they're doing it so much nowadays. It's absolutely insane. By the like-minded Mark Wahlberg, the duo have become a thorn on the side of the Hollywood establishment. Their recent meeting with Trump has only intensified the backlash, with musician Jack White publicly denouncing the rendezvous as disgusting. The media frenzy surrounding Gibson and Wahlberg is off the charts. Some articles, of course, guided by Hollywood elites, are even painting Gibson as a Hollywood pariah. But the truth is that this dynamic duo is unstoppable. Even in the midst of two ongoing union strikes, Gibson and Lionsgate secured a waiver from SAG-AFTRA to bring their vision to life on the big screen. But the drama doesn't end there. The release of Jim Caviezel's latest film, Sound of Freedom, has left Hollywood elites reeling as it performs surprisingly well in the box office. Competing neck to neck with the latest installment of Mission Impossible, Sound of Freedom has proven that the public is hungry for powerful storytelling that doesn't toe the Hollywood line. Jim was recently interviewed by Fox News arguing that Hollywood is scared by Sound of Freedom and is quaking in their boots. Facts. They're scared quaking in their boots. And it's because the public are listening to their hearts, which is what this film tells you to do. He said in an interview released Saturday, we're being shafted by mainstream media. We're not getting any coverage, Cavier Yazel said. And I'm happy with the two million, he said, in a reference to tickets purchased in the opening weekend. But I want a lot more because I want the children. In addition to this, Mark has also spoken about Sound of Freedom. You see, a recently deleted article published by a website called SGT Report claimed that Mark Wahlberg recently addressed the release of Sound of Freedom. However, there is no evidence to support that the 52-year-old American actor said what SGT Report claims. SGT Report wrote that Mark allegedly called Jim Caviezel and Mel Gibson American heroes with balls of steel. Meanwhile, the Hollywood elites can't handle the fact that the people have spoken choosing to support the likes of Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg over their hand-picked darlings. And this only intensifies the elite's disdain for the men of the people who stand firm in their values, traditional values, and a different brand of entertainment that challenges the status quo. As the gossip swirls and the tensions rise, we can't help but wonder what other Hollywood stars will follow in the footsteps of Wahlberg and Gibson. Will more celebrities dare to challenge the establishment and join the ranks of those who refuse to be silenced? I think so. From both the media and fellow celebrities. Yet, despite the controversies, he remains a force to be reckoned with in the industry. On the other hand, Mark Wahlberg, once a troubled youth entangled in criminal activities, has managed to rise above his past and carve a successful career in Hollywood. Known for his intense dedication to roles and impressive acting chops, Wahlberg has garnered a dedicated fan base and critical acclaim. He is no stranger to taking on challenging characters and portraying them with authenticity and depth. So when these two charismatic figures team up for a project, it's bound to create waves in Hollywood. What's more, their meeting with Trump at the UFC 290 event only adds fuel to the fire, with critics and skeptics questioning their motives and loyalties. However, the du duo seems undeterred, determined to make their mark with flight risk. The timing of this collaboration couldn't be more intriguing. Gibson's recent success in endorsing Sound of Freedom, a riveting drama based on the true story of a hero fighting against illegal human trade, has already rattled the Hollywood elites. This film's impact has been so profound that even the controversial Donald Trump himself couldn't resist the allure of discussing it at Mar-a-Lago. Meanwhile, Mel and Mark's audiences are getting hungry for stories that resonate with their values, stories that are not afraid to expose the corrupt and nefarious elites lurking behind the glitz and glamour. In any case, as the elites continue to lose control of the narrative, they may continue to paint Gibson as a pariah, focusing on his past controversies and attempts to discredit his work. But oh, the will. people have spoken, and they are flocking to theaters to support the work of a director who refuses to be silenced, and an actor who fearlessly takes on challenging roles, with Flight Risk poised to be another hard-hitting film that will undoubtedly rattle the establishment, 
Hollywood's predator elites have reason to worry. The part there's absolutely nothing that they can do because there's more of us than there are of them. And they know this. They recognize this. They understand that. Uh, you know, a lot of these folks, these, these elitists, they aren't stupid. Okay. Uh, that's why they employ some of these genius tactics to keep us under control, except it's not working as well anymore. And you, you know, you heard, uh, you know, the, them talk about it right here with the sound of freedom. They told us the sound of freedom was a right, right wing extremist, uh, movie. And, you know, it, it was fake and, you know, we, we, we shouldn't pay attention to it and blah, blah, blah. And, and yet even without any pub publicity from mainstream media, other than the negative note, you know, negative comment about it, right. To try to, you know, discredit it, even with all of the, the negative attempts or negative attacks and the lack of coverage, you, you would think they would want to cover something like this, which lets me know something, right? Maybe the people that run these companies are actually, maybe, possibly, allegedly involved in some of the things that are being exposed. Why else would you want to, you know, say or make negative comments about what I think a lot of people would agree is a good movie? Why would you kind of interesting, huh? Kind of interesting, right? But the people have spoken. The people have spoken. Partnership of Gibson and Wahlberg signifies a new era in Hollywood, one where artists are not afraid to take risks and speak their truth. The world of Hollywood is witnessing a seismic shift as the unlikely duo of Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson join forces for Flight Risk. The project promises to be a tour de force, combining the talents of two powerhouses in the industry. As they challenge the status quo and embrace their roles as men of the people, Hollywood elites are left in a state of panic, unable to control the narrative. Meanwhile, fans are excited about what this new movie could mean for the Hollywood elites. One fan commented saying, I have always been a fan of Mel ever since the Mad Max days as a kid. He has done some stuff that was disappointing, but he has accepted responsibility and moved on. It is just effing wonderful to see him as one of those standing up to this BS and not giving a F what these elites think. Get them Mel. Decent people get to make a film and the scum are all upset. Another fan added, Hollyweird is losing their audience. This is beautiful. Amidst That's the true. chaos and frenzy, one thing is clear. With Sound of Freedom setting the stage for this groundbreaking collaboration, Gibson and Wahlberg are leading the charge for a Hollywood that isn't afraid to confront its darkest secrets. As we eagerly await the release of Flight Risk and the further unraveling of this captivating story, one thing is certain, the drama and gossip surrounding these Hollywood titans will continue to captivate audiences and keep the industry on its toes. Stay tuned for more updates as the saga unfolds and Hollywood's predator elites realize they can no longer hide from the truth. Mm. Mm. They're getting exposed and it's on the way. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm sure whatever they are working on is going to be a spectacular project, especially since they're keeping it really secret, right? We don't have any clips or any concrete evidence of exactly what it's going to be. People are alleging that it's going to expose, uh, you know, a lot of things. But uh, how are they going to do that? How they're going to or what they're going to be exposing uh, and who's actually going to step out with them, I think, is, is is all very interesting stuff, along with, you know, the people that are going to be exposed. I mean, maybe it's the Epstein situation that's going to be exposed. Maybe they know who's on that list. Maybe they know exactly what those people did and who those people are. And that is what this is all about. That now that that movie, that film, that documentary, whatever you want to call it. That thing would make a billion dollars. Guarantee it. A billion dollars. And mainstream media is going to bash it the whole time. Say it's a conspiracy theory. And it's, it's, it's defamation. And this and that. Oh man, they, they will be screaming at the top of their lungs. This is a terrible movie. Guarantee it. Guarantee. I mean, they're going to scream at the top of the lungs at everything that they, that Mel Gibson does is, is a terrible movie and Mark Wahlberg and all of these other folks that are exposing these individuals. They're, they're going to say that regardless, 
But they would really be screaming if it was the Epstein list. I guarantee you that. But what do you guys think they're going to expose exactly? Let me know in the comment section. And what or who do you think will be getting exposed along with what's getting exposed? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know. Obviously, we had Sound of Freedom, which, you know, in, in, involved the little ones and the, the, the horrible things that go on with that. Do you think they're going to continue along with that narrative and exposing some more folks involved in that, exposing some more things involved in that? Or are we switching to, well, I guess that kind of, that actually involves that as well. The Epstein situation. Holy cow. Mm. That's weird. So many of these rich elites just love mm. weird folks, man. Weird folks that need to be thrown underneath a jail. Uh, that's what I hope to see in 2025. But Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.